Welcome back to Alternative Info AI. Today, we're diving into a bug-filled conspiracy theory. Could the World Economic Forum, WEF, be pushing AI to make us swap burgers for bugs? Is it part of a globalist agenda or just a crunchy exaggeration? Stick around to find out. Let's chew on this one. Hold on to your burger, folks, because the internet has a new conspiracy theory. This one's a real humdinger. It involves the World Economic Forum, artificial intelligence, and you guessed it, bugs. Apparently, the WEF is using the power of AI to force us all into a dystopian future where crickets are the new kale. Now, I know what you're thinking, John. That sounds ridiculous. And you're right, it does. But hold your horses, because we're going to delve into this digital dumpster fire and see if there's any truth to these creepy crawly claims. Buckle up, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. The theory suggests that the WEF, in collaboration with top tech companies, is developing AI to revolutionize our food systems. They claim that these AI systems will soon be able to produce high-protein, sustainable food sources like cricket-based products on a massive scale. The idea is to reduce the environmental impact of traditional livestock farming and provide a more sustainable alternative. But of course, not everyone is on board with this vision of the future. Critics argue that this is just another way for the elite to control what we eat and how we live. They fear that this could lead to a loss of food diversity and personal choice. So is there any truth to these claims or is it all just a wild conspiracy? Stay tuned as we dig deeper into this intriguing topic and separate fact from fiction. Get ready to uncover the reality behind the buzz. This is going to be one fascinating journey. So what's the conspiracy exactly? Let's dive into the bizarre world of internet theories. Well, according to the internet's finest minds, and by that I mean the opposite, there's a wild theory making the rounds. The WEF is secretly developing advanced AI systems. These aren't just any AI systems, but super intelligent ones that could potentially outsmart humans. These AI overlords will then manipulate our food supply chains, making it more expensive to eat anything other than bugs. Imagine a world where your favorite foods are priced out of reach and the only affordable option is a plate of crickets. The goal? To force us all into eating insects for the sake of, you guessed it, the environment. They argue that insects are a sustainable food source, rich in protein and much less taxing on the planet. They claim the WEF wants to control our diets and ultimately control us. By dictating what we eat, they believe the WEF can exert unprecedented influence over our daily lives because nothing says global domination like forcing your citizens to snack on roasted ants, right? It's a theory that sounds straight out of a dystopian sci-fi novel. I mean, forget microchips, they're injecting us with chitin. The idea is so outlandish that it's almost laughable, yet it has gained traction among certain circles online. So next time you hear about the WEF's creepy, crawly conspiracy, remember to take it with a grain of salt, or perhaps a sprinkle of cricket powder. Okay, let's take a step back from the conspiracy cliff for a second and talk about AI's actual role in our food system. It's not just about robots taking over farms or some sci-fi scenario. AI is already being used in agriculture, and no, it's not yet forcing farmers to raise locusts instead of lettuce. Instead, it's helping farmers make smarter decisions. We're talking about things like precision farming, where AI analyzes data to optimize crop yields and reduce waste. Imagine being able to know exactly how much water, fertilizer, or pesticide each plant needs. AI is also being used to develop new plant-based meat alternatives. These innovations are not just about mimicking meat, but also about creating sustainable food sources. You know, those burgers that bleed beet juice and taste surprisingly like the real deal? AI helps in perfecting the texture, flavor, and even the nutritional content. AI is helping to make them even tastier and hopefully less beady. It's not just about taste, it's about making food production more efficient and environmentally friendly. Beyond crops, AI is also being used to monitor livestock health, ensuring animals are well cared for and reducing the spread of diseases. And let's not forget about weather prediction. AI can analyze vast amounts of data to provide more accurate weather forecasts, helping farmers plan their activities better. So while AI in agriculture might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, it's already here, making a real difference in how we grow and produce our food. The WEF's not-so-secret menu. So what does the WEF actually say about all this? Let's dive in. Well, they do advocate for more sustainable eating habits, and that includes exploring 
alternative protein sources like insects. But here's the thing, they're not strapping people down and force-feeding them mealworms, it's all about choice. The WEF argues that insect farming has a much smaller environmental footprint than traditional livestock farming, and they're not wrong. But advocating for something is a far cry from orchestrating a global AI-powered insect-eating conspiracy. It's about options, not mandates. Who programs the food police? Now let's address the ethical elephant in the room AI controlling our food. It's a valid concern. What happens when algorithms start dictating what we should and shouldn't eat? What about cultural food preferences or people with allergies? These are important questions that need to be addressed. We need to ensure that AI is used responsibly and ethically in our food systems. We also need to be wary of anyone claiming they can predict the future of food, especially if that future involves robotic grasshoppers serving us dinner. Conspiracy or crunchy reality? So is this whole WFAI bug thing a legitimate concern or just another internet-fueled conspiracy theory? The evidence seems to point towards the latter. There's no concrete proof that the WEF is using AI to control our diets or force us to eat insects. But, and this is a big but, the conspiracy does highlight some valid concerns about the increasing role of technology in our lives and the power of organizations like the WEF. It also raises important questions about the future of food and the need for sustainable solutions. Pass the crickets, please, or maybe not. At the end of the day, we're all entitled to our own food choices. If you want to embrace the future and start snacking on crickets, power to you. But if you'd rather stick to your burger and fries, that's cool too. Just maybe keep an eye on your AI-powered refrigerator, just in case it starts suggesting you swap those fries for a side of fried worms. Until next time, stay informed, stay skeptical, and whatever you do, don't let the bugs bite. Literally. Thank you for watching and being part of our journey.